Okay, we're gonna go back to the cold start video again. We had to jiggle a wire on the uh, jiggle a wire under the hood on the firewall to get her going. Anyway, here's the true cold start video. We're gonna pause and move the car by the door because we're gonna all die of exhaust fumes in here. talk and not scream over the uh, the audio here here's what we know here's what I know uh, WM 21 H uh, 1969 Super B they made about 7100 of those uh, 383 automatics and sticks were divided about equally I think of just about 3700 automatics and a little less than uh, half of that number for uh, four speeds. So we know it's that for sure by VIN. As far as uh, body verification goes, uh, we don't have a fender tag on this car, so we're not able to accurately identify uh, via through fender tag. And uh, no visible core support stamp was located. So it's either been painted over, or possibly the core support was uh, changed. Hard to say. Hard to say, but that's not there. Tucked inside the engine bay, since we got the hood up, is a uh, 446 pack configuration. It's a non numbers matching car, so I did not go through any of the numbers on the motor. Um, carburetor setup looks like. Uh, stock style carburetor setup sitting on top of an Edelbrock manifold vacuum secondaries nothing too strange looking I believe that's an aftermarket uh, air cleaner setup we got an aftermarket AAR hood fiberglass hood. It sits real flat and nice and it looks real good as the hood is closed. The uh, engine you just heard running, very stealthy build. Don't know what the internals are. There was no paperwork provided uh, on this build. Uh, cosmetically speaking, there's a little bit of burn off on the Hooker Super Comp headers, left and right. Um, 
no intake uh, antifreeze pooling uh, that I can see correct uh, 440 stamp there on the top of the engine pad Edelbrock Performer RPM aluminum heads uh, Petronics or similar ignition upgrade there vacuum advance is disconnected Big fat Mark 7 aluminum radiator in really good shape. Trans cooler fastened to the front. Aftermarket uh, overflow. Everything looks pretty clean and nice under the hood. We had to jiggle a wire there to get her to go, and we didn't have any fire to begin with. But no overspray really noted underneath the hood on various components. The spot welds all along the frame rail extensions look really nice, don't they? And from what I can see over here underneath the battery, nothing visible, uh, nothing to report that's, you know, horrific. Uh, Willwood four-wheel disc brake upgrade system has been installed. I think those are the super lights with the uh, drilled rotors. Drilled and slotted, look like they're in nice shape. Engine bay itself is uh, very presentable. Everything was taken apart, and so the workmanship is definitely clean. So doesn't really need any general work to pop it up, open at a local car show, and show it off. We got a correct style uh, power steering unit there. Brakes are not power. Way too much vacuum pull on this. Uh, so an engine bay looks nice. We'll close out there for a minute. A weld racing wheels, 17 inch front and rear, uh, slightly wider in the rear. Wheels are in good shape, no major curb scuffing or a deterioration to report. Uh, 245 uh, series uh, 17 inch uh, front tires. Uh, date codes are 2022. 20, date codes back here, I believe, are 2020. 20. Mickey Thompson. Uh, ETs 305, 45, 17s. Uh, so a little more wear. This car's got some power. But the wheels and tires are uh, very uh, in very good shape. Nothing really to report. Um, out here it's a little easier to look at it compared to the showroom where I did all the inspection. But I am five or six feet away from the car right now. I am uh, four feet away from the car right now probably see the label on my shirt at uh, two and a half feet so the reflective quality is very very nice there's some uh, small flaws some chips particularly down here in the splash areas that wouldn't surprise you would it down here underneath on the uh, lower ledge of the quarters all the trim was pulled the paint job was done uh, executed nicely body was blocked flat, good magnetic adhesion throughout, uh, digital paint meter readings. The only area we detected some filler repair and didn't get a great read is down here on the dog leg of the left front fender. So a uh, little bit of lack of read right in here. But everywhere else we've got really good read. Small scratch right here, three inch on the front edge of this fender. I can feel that with my fingernail. Hard to see in the... I got a still photo of that. Uh, 42 down to 22. As far as mill thickness goes, uh, four and a half mils equals the thickness of a dollar bill. So uh, at 16 mils there, we're three and a half, four dollar bills thick. 46, a little filler in the top of this fender, but 8.5 right away. 38. So this fender is definitely uh, an original and or used fender that's been repaired. 34. Down here we're going to be in the 50s where I can get a read I believe. Uh, 61. There was a 50s reading in here earlier. I got a photo of it. Anyway, so this area, this fender's had some, some body filler repair work. The doors open and close very nicely. Door uh, skin lips. 
look really good. Jam detail looks nice. Everything was taken apart. No overspray. Little sho little shove and they close nicely. Both doors open and close. Pretty much just like that. Uh, probably the worst lines on the car would be the rear door lines where they meet up with the quarters. All the lines on the car are really good. The hood lies flat, the trunk lies flat. Uh, this door hangs out a little more than the passenger side. But uh, look how nice that trunk lays. Looks that way on both sides. Good alignment back here. Nothing, nothing too, uh, too weird. on this hood are nice. Typically these fiberglass hoods can show a warp but uh, really not a problem here. Happy Friday. Uh, so again down the shooting down the sides of the car. The car is nice and straight and uh, a few readings down this side eight uh, down low eight door corner 12 rocker 9 door corner 14 rocker 7 lower quarter 11 8 wheel lip 16 it's this way all the way down the car and then I'm going to come at that door so you can see this side of the car and the lines and how they present up top nice and down low just a little bit of subtle hangout there wheel tubs have all been painted I'll get into the car here in a minute not going to drive it today because of the rain uh, tail lights uh, tail light bezels uh, tail panel trim grill chrome bumpers nothing to complain about here all the glass is in good shape. A few minor hairline uh, scratches here and there. But really nothing uh, absurd. Just typical. Hard to even see out here. There's one right there. It's probably one of the heavier scratches in the side glass. Windshield's a replacement unit. All right, back at it. Let's take a quick look at the trunk. Back side of the trunk lip is in nice condition. A skin over the shell, very nice. Nothing really to complain about there. I know we're looking into the daylight, so it's hard to see, but it's in good shape. Lid's in good shape. Uh, jams look appropriate. We're still getting rain out here, but I just got the back end of the car hanging out so I can breathe when the exhaust is breathing. Uh, trunk pan, we got an uh, aftermarket mat. I folded that up just a minute ago. No spare, no jack. A little bit of condensation, uh, a little bit of moisture gathering in the trunk and popping some of the paint up, as you can see. Um, wheel tub connection to the floors and to the uh, quarter extension panels. Uh, looks nice. Uh, body caulk laid down there. A um, little heavier a caulk on that outer wheel tub. So uh, partial uh, wheel tubs may have had some work, hard to say, but the trunk pan itself is very solid. Uh, no evidence of any heavy rot or uh, issues. I can't remember in 69, I think there's supposed to be a cover over these tail lights on the Super Bs. Uh, it's missing on a lot of them. So new seal present. Uh, trunk opens and closes nicely. I'm not going to be driving the car today. Uh, I'm going to run it a little longer. Uh, so I'll go through this interior and then we'll get back underneath it. I already had it jacked up for the purchaser and took about 50 or 60 still photos underneath it. Those will uh, be better visible on his computer screen blown up. Underside of the structure looks really nice. Um, interior wise this vinyl seat cover has been changed uh, vinyl 
uh, door cards have been changed rear quarter panel trim changed uh, four point roll bar that's welded to the floor aftermarket carpet kind of made it up to the original loop style carpet and uh, you know it's presentable there's a rear seat that comes with the car package tray isn't uh, horribly warped or anything going on there those um, sail panel covers slash uh, C pillar covers they could stand to be uh, uh, better fitted and uh, you can see those got a little bit of wrinkling and whatnot. There's a little bit of a wrinkle on the headliner, but the headliner's nice. It's been changed. So a little steam fitting there might be appropriate. Dashboard's in pretty good shape overall. Glove box opens, closes, and latches. The latch takes a few times to catch. Ashtray is uh, presentable. Lighter element in place. Uh, this pad has some just general scuffs and wear. Dash pad itself is not cracked. A little bit of general wear on the steering wheel. Again, nothing to write home about. You can see that the carpet's kind of got a purple tint to it. The black color is fading out of it. A bottle of Rit dye and some water and some uh, wrist grease, elbow grease. Got to clean that up a bit. So overall, the interior uh, presents pretty well single person uh, restraint there bolted to the bolted to the uh, roll cage all right let's get under this guy I just notice my dome lights not coming on okay let's try it this way dome no dome okay Quick recap before I go back under, we've covered wheels and tires, uh, interior, we've covered options, engine bay, trunk, chrome and trim, uh, paint, down here on the uh, quarter panel splash, we've just got some small chips, a little bit of mud splash. And, uh, but it's mostly chips down there. No super bad uh, scratches. There's a little paint touch up there. There's a few spots around the car where you see some paint touch ups, but nothing, nothing really exciting. I've got this glass facing me now and it's a little easier to show it. There's a hairline scratch up in here. There's a couple little roller ice scraper scratches right in here. Little mark there. shot of the passenger door while I'm on this side. This is Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise conducting a pre-purchase inspection on a 1969 Super B for a client who's wanting to buy it out of, I think, New Jersey. He's the only guy that's going to get a chance to see this video once the car is either purchased or not purchased. Then the video can become public just to kind of show the vehicle and it may still be for sale by the current seller hard to say but if you're seeing the video you're a little late to the game it's just more of a product telling you what we do and how we do it so if you need an inspection like this call Jennifer at 800-301-3886 that is a late commercial isn't it so picking back up we're under the front end on the driver's side lower uh, lower core support, radiator support. That panel's in nice shape. Uh, newer lines bolted to it there, as you can see. These uh, front arms have some cracking in the bushings, but they have been changed, actually. There's no overspray on them, so they were taken apart. Inner structure looks nice. If you look down there, the unitized frame rail spot welds are still nicely visible. A little bit of old yellow paint up there if you can see it around that grommet car probably wasn't an original uh, tore red or oops there goes the flashlight there we go tore I think actually is a 1970 color so newer shocks 
uh, front and rear QA1 adjustables in the back. You <clears throat> can also see a little bit of blue paint way up there underneath that plate uh, that's hanging, that's right here. See that? A little bit of blue under there. Hard to tell what color it was, but it might not have been red. Um, underneath on the bottom of the vehicle, uh, nothing really uh, outrageous to report. This plastic shield is in the way. You can see a little bit of uh, overspray on that. Primer overspray. Uh, they didn't pull that off, apparently. But the die holes in the rails look good. I didn't see any big stretch marks on anything that was visible, left or right. I'm going to go down the driver's side of the car, but everything I say about the driver's side is the same on the passenger side. Didn't see any major leaks there at the front uh, pan seal. Uh, and, uh, sitting here, we're not gathering too much on the ground. That may or may not be from this car. I'm going to say that it is based on seeing a drip right there. All right, as we move down, uh, spot welds on the flange to the lower rail there in the wheel tub area look good. Look good. Closeout pads have been replaced or changed. Uh, rocker door lines are nice down here. Bottom of the fender is in good shape, even though it's been repaired. Spot welds. Uh, nicely visible along that rocker panel all the way down uh, underneath here let's get a little further under the car uh, frame rails in good shape some paint chips and whatnot but no major tears or elongations where it would have been chained down uh, frame ties have been uh, welded in there along that cross member. Welds were ground down nicely. Floor pans have all been painted. Big fat three inch exhaust with cutouts and turn downs just past the mufflers. I think those are flow masters. No full tailpipes. Evidence of new lines installed. Bottom of the car though is clean. Car is reportedly a Tennessee car. I don't know if that history, uh, it supposedly came from Tennessee anyway. I don't know where the car originated. Again, no paperwork on the car. The exhaust system looks laid out nicely. Aftermarket pan on that 727 uh, torque flight, supposed to have a 3000 stall. So it's a pretty stealthy build. Eight and three quarter rear end. Let me get around the back of the car but before I get there. There's an area right here on the floor pan that doesn't have any red finish on it. It's got a black finish on it. And this is a area of a floor pan seam. And uh, I believe that seam is kind of uh, rolled down or opened up. Oops, getting further into the car. So much for my new glasses. That flange kind of hangs down. It's pretty symmetrical all the way across. Same thing on all sides. And then there's that black area of paint right there on the opposite side as well. I'm not sure what that is about. Uh, Caltrack adjustable bars installed. Uh, sure Grip 8 and 3 quarter. Let's move to the back of the car now. Again, die holes are looking good. No evidence of uh, heavy rot or decay. Up underneath the back of the car. All along the uh, tail panel support. Things look pretty straight, pretty okay. Unitized rails are in good shape. Uh, quarter panel extensions, those may, those may have been changed. We have tabs present for the inner, inner quarters. And good magnetic adhesion all along down here. As 
So back under the uh, back side of the vehicle, um, rear end housing looks like it's had at least a, a cosmetic restoration. I'm, I'm guessing it's been apart and uh, reported as a 391 setup. With all the aftermarket on here, it's likely. But insides of the uh, quarter panels look good. Uh, back rails look good. Die holes look good. And again, the left looks like the right. So really no uh, evidence of any heavy deterioration or damage underneath the car as far as I'm concerned. Three inch dumps there at the back of those flow masters. So on the wrap up, I'm gonna fire the car back up and let it run a little longer, uh, let it warm up. And uh, I won't do all of that on video. No sense burning needless tape. I think we're already almost close to 25 minutes. But the car I would summarize as this. By VIN, it's a uh, Super B. So two-door hardtop, one of 7,100-ish and some change that were made. Um, no trim tag, so we really can't verify it. No paperwork, no numbers matching drivetrain. I didn't pull the rear trunk seal to verify any body numbers. And uh, I didn't do any uh, heavy numbers uh, decoding on this vehicle. But it's got a title and a VIN on the dash, and so uh, I guess that's what it is. It's a good, clean interior, good, clean uh, underhood presentation. Engine's got a definitely got a stealthy build. It's unfortunate I can't take it out for a ride today because uh, with those street slicks and the rain, I, I bet I could put it sideways in a hurry. That's what they're worried about. Upon startup, we had to jiggle a wire on the ballast resistor on the firewall um, because we didn't have any fire at first, but then it quickly remedied itself. are not working. I said they were, but uh, I'm just getting a bright light difference when I step on the pedal. I'm sorry, when I step on the switch, not the pedal. Those are on in case you can't tell. smell like fuel I take that back I think I'm gonna shut her down yeah there's a uh, fuel line block right here right above there and I'm guessing that's where it's coming from but the coils very close we got fuel we don't have 70 degrees so I don't think we're gonna get a fire but let's not risk it not today all right Jason from auto appraise wrapping it up I hope the video serves its intended purpose and uh, have a great day. If you like the video, leave some favorable feedback if you can. Thanks.